Now, the reason why it's important to know the relationship between the peak pressures and the plateau pressures is that when the ventilator is alarming with high pressures, you can figure out what's going on with the ventilator. Remember, the peak pressure is the summation of the resistance and the compliance in the circuit. The plateau pressure is just the compliance. So knowing the ratio between these two things can tell you some very important things. If, for example, the peak pressures are greater than your plateau pressures and the vent is alarming, then you have to think about things that would be causing a problem of resistance. Those would be things like bronchoconstriction. Perhaps this patient has a mucus plug. Maybe this person is biting on the tube or there's some kink there in the tube that's causing an increase in resistance. Now, if your peak pressures are equal to your plateau pressures, this means that resistance is not the problem. Here, the problem is a problem of compliance. So you should be thinking about things like pneumothorax, thinking like things like ARDS or pleural effusion. Think about anything that would be making that lung stiffer, or maybe there's an increase in abdominal pressures or a decrease in the chest wall compliance. Knowing these two pressures and their relationships to each other is going to help you to better manage patients.